uh, focus on your words and just be able to uh, that, that your words will speak for our hearts and pastor John. Uh, just be with those who can join us today as well, Father. Uh, and just bless this church. In Jesus' name, amen. Anyone stand up for the Apostles' Creed? I believe in God the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, the only Son of the Lord, was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of Virgin Mary, the brother of the Father, who was crucified and Mary. He descended to hell, the third day he rose again from the dead. He descended to heaven, and sits on the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. And then he shall come to the earth and the wicked the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Church, we have faith, forgiveness of sin, the resurrection of the body, the life of the life. Amen. Thank you. Today's uh, Bible scripture is Isaiah chapter 58, verse 13 through 14. Isaiah chapter uh, 58, verse 13 through 14. Sabbath day holy, don't pursue your own interest on that day, but enjoy the Sabbath and speak, speak of it with delight as the Lord's holy day. Honor the Sabbath in everything you do on that day, and don't follow your own desires or talk idly. Then the Lord will be your delight and will give you great honor and satisfy you with the inheritance. Hallelujah. Finally, the weather gets warmer. <laughs> okay, why don't we greet each other? You hot? Do you want me to turn on AC? Huh? It's good? Okay, God bless you. God loves you. Children's room. Hi, mommy. God bless you. God loves you. In the name of Jesus Christ, I bless you. I bless the church. God bless you. <laughs> See, I, I have a good news for those who come from Japan. Yeah, I met a woman missionary who is doing the mission work here in California, the Long Beach area. From Japan? From Japan. And, but she's from OMF. The mission organization and then under the name of Japanese Christian Fellowship Network they have a, every year the conference it's coming December but they are mainly focused on Japanese people who came to the United States and became a Christian and then when they return to Japan they don't know what to do so she's helping them to just connect with the local churches, but they cannot easily get into break into Japanese community. I don't know because maybe they already got influenced by American culture. So it's a different culture. So she's just helping them to gather together in Tokyo area every week. About 70 to 80 people are gathering there. So I'm trying to hook up Yoko Watanabe to just belong to a group to just continue to have Christian life over there. So this is a good news. She's so passionate woman. So she's so much interested in our ministry. She said, never seen ministry like this. Even we are few, but how many languages? So now she's trying to move to New Song Church. 
she's renting out office space from the church and then she will come in for she says she, she wants to come and see our worship praising and bible study etc so this is a good news for japanese people yeah this movement wow they I have a DVD here. I'm going to make a copy of it. It's only in Japanese, but even everything is Japanese. They want people to listen to in their own language and even praising. So wonderful. Touched my heart. So I want to see Chinese movement as well. Filipinos, same. Yeah, every language. The way we can come into Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. So I was so challenged and encouraged. So, okay, back to the context today. <laughs> you know, Isaiah 58, I want you to turn the book of Isaiah 58. I want to point out something which is not coincidence in my opinion. You know, the from the beginning of chapter 58 of Isaiah, you know, the starting from verse 1 through 12, God is talking about fasting. And then, 13 and 14, all of a sudden, it's changed it to Sabbath. So, is Sabbath related to fasting? That's my question. In my opinion, yes. <laughs> so then how does that work Sabbath and resting okay then what is Sabbath next slide please Exodus 35 2 says each week work for six days only the seventh day is a day of total rest a holy day that belongs to the Lord anyone who works on that day will die Put to death. NLT. <laughs> wow, when I read this first, wow, is this the truth? So this is Sabbath. Because when we back to Genesis, God created everything within six days. And then the seventh day, He rested. Right? So according to the Old Testament, next slide. Sabbath is God's command. So Leviticus 23.3, On the seventh day all work must come to a complete stop. It is the Lord's Sabbath day of complete rest. Holy day two, assemble for worship. It must be observed wherever you live. So it is God's command to Israelites. So in my opinion, Jewish are required to observe the Sabbath day, but not us. As Christians, we are not under the law. So we are not required to observe the Sabbath day, but we can learn the principle, what God is talking about. At least one day a week, we need to rest ourselves. Just seizing all our own activities, whatever we want to do to set aside and rest. I'm not talking about a full day, half day maybe, couple of hours. We need to just stop ourselves. And think about God. That's the meaning of Sabbath here. A holy day to assemble for worship. See, God is commanding Israelites. You know, throughout the Bible, God never mentioned why He chose Israelites. Right? We don't know. Only place in the book of 